Hello everyone. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We have some steps in solving word problems. Okay, the first step is we're going to understand the problem. After understanding the problem, then we should learn what we're going to do, how to solve the problem. Then after that is we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve. And the last one is we're going to check or look back whether our answer is correct or not. Here is the problem that we're going to solve. Mom Cardo needs to have blocks of wood that are 6 inches long each. He found blocks of wood in their backyard that have the following lengths in inches. 52, 54, and 58. Which of the three logs is his best option to get equally sized block of wood without excess? To answer a word problem, is we're going to read it twice or thrice in order for us to understand the problem. And we're going to answer what is asked in the problem. We need to know what is asked in the problem in order for us to get the answer to our problem. So most of the question found at the end of the word problem. Okay, and it ends with a question mark. For the beginner, you can just copy this one. Which of the following three legs is his best option to get equally sized block of holes without an excess? as the answer for what is asked in the problem. But for the advanced learner, we should restate this problem or this question. So what is asked in the problem? That is the best option of lag to use. After we know what is asked in the problem, the next one is we should know what are the given facts in the problem. Okay, we have here 6 inches long. Uh, we have also 52, 54, and 58. So, the given facts in the problems are 1 is each piece of wood should be 6 inches long. The next is three lengths of woods measuring 52, 54, and 58 inches. After we understand the problem, we know already what is asked, what are the given facts in the problem, then the next step in solving the problem is we're going to plan. Under planning, we should know what strategy or operation that we can use to solve the problem. In our problem for today, we need to recall the divisibility rule for 6. Then, we can eliminate options that are not divisible by 6. After we have plan, then this is a time that we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve the problem. Our plan is we're going to recall the divisibility rules for C. So, the rule says a number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, our first option is 52. We're going to check whether 52 is divisible by 2 and 3. Is 52 divisible by 2? Okay, yes, because 52 ends with 2, 2 is an even number. Okay, is 52 divisible by 3? We're going to add all the digits. 5 plus 2, the answer is equal to 7, and 7 is not divisible by 3. So, 52 is not divisible by 3. Okay, next option is 54. 
is 54 divisible by 2. It ends with 4. 4 is an even number. Yes, even number is divisible by 2. So, 54 is divisible by 2. Next is, is 54 divisible by 3. We're going to add the digits. 5 plus 4. The answer is equal to 9. 9 divided by 3. The answer is equal to 3. So, 54 is divisible by 3. Another option is 58. Is 58 divisible by 2? Okay, yes, because it ends with 8. Is 58 divisible by 3? Okay, let's add the digits. 5 plus 8, the answer is equal to 13, and 13 is not divisible by 3. So, 58 is not divisible by 3. Then we're going to eliminate the options that that is not divisible by both 2 and 3, which is 52 and 58. And the remaining option is 54. So, therefore, Mako says she choose the lack of wood that is 54 inches in length since this will give him equally sized blocks of wood without any excess. After we have the answer to our problem, then it is the time that we are going to check or look back whether our answer is correct or not. To check our answer, we should divide 54 divided by 6. Okay, let's try whether there is no remainder. 54 divided by 6. Okay, 54 divided by 6, the answer is equal to 9. 9 times 6, the answer is equal to 54. 54 minus 54, the answer is equal to 0. So, there is no remainder. Then, our answer is correct. This is the way how we're going to solve word problems. First is we're going to understand the problem. Under understanding, we should know what is asked in the problem. What are the given facts? Then after that, we're going to plan. Okay, under planning, we should know what strategy or operations that we're going to use. Then after that, we're going to carry out the plan or solve the problem. Then after that, we're going to check whether our answer is correct or not. 